Hello everyone, this is Umar Hassan and you are watching CSS uh, GSA lecture series. In my today's lecture, I will uh, uh, continue uh, with the topic of coordinate geometry. In the last lecture, I have discussed the concept of gradient of a line. Today, I am going to discuss the concept of distance between the two points. If the coordinates of two points are given, how you can find the distance between those two points. It can be applied in real life as well. So let us start from the lecture. Distance between the two points. Well, this is the formula you have to use to find the distance between the two points. This is square root of y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. Now, first of all, I want to define what is y2, y1 and x2, x1. So, consider this point 4, 2 that is represented by A. If I have, if I have a coordinate axis that is x axis and y axis, then this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Similarly, on y axis, on the side upside the origin, it is plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and plus 4. Similarly, downward side is negative, this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3. Left side of x is negative x, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. This is coordinate axis that has coordinates on it, x coordinates and y coordinates. If I want to reach the point A, this is starting point. This is origin. Starting point is called origin. So we have also origin over here. This origin has coordinates 0, 0. Now let me explain what is 0, 0. 0, the first coordinate is for x. This is x. This is representing x value this is for y. 0, 0 means you haven't moved, moved any distance in x axis and 0 here in place of y means you haven't moved any distance in y axis. What is the meaning of this 4, 2? That is 4 units in x direction, 2 units in y direction. So point A is 1, 2, 3, 4 units in x direction, positive x direction, this is right side is positive x and 2 units in positive y direction. So point A will be over here. Its coordinates are 4 units in the positive x and 2 units in the positive y. Minus 3 minus 4 is b, that is minus 3 units First one is for x axis, minus 3 mean on the negative side of x, that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 units in negative x and then minus 4 units downward because negative mean downward y direction, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. This is b, minus 3, minus 4. This is origin having coordinate 0, 0. Here x is x value 0, y is 0. So this is coordinate system and you can represent your point like this on this x, y axis. Now how to find the distance? Okay, the question is which is further from origin? Point A is more far away from origin or point B is at more distance from your origin. So first of all, you need to find the distance between origin and A. You need to find this distance, this distance and then this distance is OA, origin is represented by O. So OA is more or origin to B is more. This is OB, which one is more, which point is further from the origin. So finding OA. No, the coordinates of origin are 0, 0 means 0 unit in the x axis, 0 unit in the y axis. That means you haven't moved any unit in the x axis 
or any unit in the y-axis so you are at a region starting point and coordinates of a are given for two I'm going to find the distance between these two points OA with these bars represent the distance or magnitude. So now first of all you must identify if this is x1 then this is representing y1. The first value is for x the second value is for y. If this is x1 this is y1 then this one is x2 and this one is y2. Now I am going to apply distance formula over here. So putting the value of x1, y1 in this formula, let, let us make it very simple. Simply subtract y and y that is 2 minus 0, take, it, take its square plus now subtract x and x. x here is 4 and x here is 0 and take square of it. Make things simple y minus y whole square plus x minus x whole square. First of all solve within the bracket within the square root. First of all solve uh, this one and then take square root. So 2 minus 0 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4 and we have a square root. So 2 square is 4. 4 square is 16. Now don't cut this square and square root. First of all, you need to complete the operation. This, this operation is to be performed first and then you are going to take square root. That is 20 under root. The 20 square root don't have a calculator in the paper. You don't, so calculator is not allowed. So what to do? 20 is between two square numbers. 20 is between 16 and 25. 16 is a square number square of 4 if you take if you will take a square root of 16 your answer is 4. If you will take square root of 25 your answer is 5. So square root of 20 should be between these two. Let us take it as 4.5. It is approximation estimation. The distance of OA is 4.5. Let us take it as centimeter unit of distance or meters whatever what about the distance of uh, b from origin this one that is ob now let us calculate this one and and as per as per the rule this is y and origin has got value of y equal to 0 so y minus y y value from b that is minus 4 minus 0. We are going to subtract y's and take square plus subtract x minus 3 and 0. Here x is minus 3, here x is 0. Subtract them minus 3 minus 0 and take square of it. Minus 4 minus 0 is minus 4. Minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3. Now this is 16, well minus square is plus, this is another point of mistake most of people used to do, minus square is plus, 4 square is 16, plus minus square is plus, 3 square is 9, well that is 25 square root and answer is 5 centimeters. So it is obvious that 5 centimeter is further than 4.5 centimeters, so B is further from A. B is 5, 5 centimeter from origin, A is 4.5 centimeter from origin. So the answer is B is further from origin. I hope you have understood the question. So keep watching. Thank you so much.